Okay, hi everyone and welcome to this Tribe Forex Market Review. I'm Martello Dussel. Today is April 30th, 2013. Uh, obviously this is a new format for us um, and, and it's, uh, it's actually timely. We needed to switch out of uh, just the way that we're doing things into another format which would, um, I believe, it's going to, uh, is better for the overall benefit of our, of our clientele. Uh, and also just because that's the way that we're trading now. Uh, the market has changed and we have naturally changed with the market. So we're going to go into our same market analysis. We're going to do a market analysis. We're going to review recent trades and uh, then we're going to have a brief questions and answers session. But let me first tell you how this works. All right, so the Triforex methodology essentially uh, works. We, we basically at 5 p.m., which is still called our power hour, is is the time where we do a market analysis to determine the bias of the market. Uh, from that, from determining the bias, uh, each night we, we, we use two things. We use number one, a set and forget system. That's for people who don't have an awful lot of time. They don't want to, they don't want to trade all night long. They, they don't want to really even know how to trade. Um, we have a set and forget system that will take high probability trades for them based upon the bias. And um, if not, you can join us in the European and New York sessions to take even more profits and learn how to trade with our uh, pro trader that we have in there, uh, Nino. All right. And then, of course, you can wait all week. You can do nothing for the rest of the week, or you can jump on some of our other trade calls that pop up in tribeforex.com. So that's pretty much it, um, what we do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to review our automation first overall automation uh, and then I'm going to go into some other uh, facets of this thing. Okay, so this is automation. Now, the Tribe Forex is not against automation. We're absolutely for it. I am the automation guy. Um, that's never going to change. I actually use the automation to trade a lot of the discretionary stuff that we do. But when we have a, mar a market that's hostile as, as much as this particular market has been hostile, uh, there, it leaves you with uh, very limited uh, choices here uh, as far as you know, as far as being able to run an automated system, it's actually counter to the automated systems that have worked for many years. So you've got to make an adjustment, and that's what I'm here to teach you and, and show you how to prosper in the midst, midst of all that. So uh, here, let's start with the euro dollar really quickly. A couple of things happened here. You can see that I have a trend line that was drawn above, and this trend line did hold. That gave us a sell bias. We thought price was going to come back in, and it did. It came back down to that 50 EMA, literally landed right on the 50 A at 130.50, and then bounced up completely. Now we made money in that on Tribe Forex. I actually took a trade of the day video, and I would show it to you now, but we're kind of short on time. Um, I'll do that in the next session. But basically, we're able to make money on the way down, and then you can see here that was in the European session, and then it was here during the New York session. The market just took off and went uh, to the upside where it, where it, it cur currently is now. Here's the situation with this euro dollar and what has been going on. Essentially, you can see here that this entire time we have been in a consolidation. We've never stopped. We've never gotten out of this range. We've stuck in this range. This beautiful reversal candle railroad track formation was not even uh, is not even uh, you know was completely ignored by the market because it just wanted to go back and forth. So here's a, here's our issue. We did have a breakout of the apex here. And usually that would bode well for a continuation to the upside. And I'm not saying that it won't. Um, the next level to look for will be uh, right where my cursor is. Okay. 131.17. Uh, maybe a retest back down there and a push back to the upside. That could happen. More likely than not, because you know when we get past that apex, we still have the upper limit that was formed by this railroad tracks. Uh, which is held. So for the time being, being that we had and erred on the side of, you know, uh, of ranging, of a ranging market, um, and that's what we should do because that in, in normal market conditions that occurs 60 to 70 percent of the time. Um, in these market conditions, it's been up to 90 percent of the time that we've seen these ranging markets, these ranging uh, move, movements. So when you have an extreme you should basically err on the side of the opposite direction, not in the continuation of the trend. And so that's basically what, uh, what we'll say here as well, is consolidation with a sell bias for the time being. If it breaks out of this thing and it holds above here, then we'll know that it is a buy bias 
and the market continues has an intention to continue to move up. That's the probability anyway. And so that's where we are. Euro dollar also had a buy trade. We got in, 72 pips of risk, uh, did move up, we hit our first take profit. And second position should technically be, be in this trade. I took one of those trades off because I felt as though um, you know we were doubling up our, on our exposure on the uh, on the dollar Swiss, on the euro dollar dollar Swiss, and I think I made the right decision there because the dollar Swiss also hit its first take profit and is currently up 61 pips, and you can see that it has run down and, and has a very healthy, very healthy push down to the downside on this dollar Swiss, and I think it was a much more clear cut signal. Same exact thing, changed from green to red, gave us a sell, and uh, you can see here that, that we have a trend line right under here at 92.61. We'll be looking for some movement right around there. But we've fallen through the 50 and the 200 EMA, which is a very important milestone or marker, I should say, as far as uh, determination of the overall market intention. Uh, so it did fall down here. Um, and so we have to wait and, see, wait and see what happens with our, but our dollar Swiss STP is currently up 60 odd pips. Okay. Pound dollar, pound dollar, same thing. We had that reversal candle to the sell side. I said it was too small for us to consider it, you know, with any significance, and that was right. We basically had price, uh, you know, just meander here, didn't do anything back and forth, and broke the high here, and it's still in this kind of ranging motion. So we're not uh, really concerned about the pound dollar. It's actually very, honestly, it's 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 a very wishy-washy peer at this particular juncture. Pound yen. Pound yen. We have a double top formation here, and uh, you know we didn't have that big buy that we expected on the pound yen, just like we saw on the euro yen and and on the other currencies. Um, this one continues to kind of hold here. We've got two uh, dojis here that are formed. Uh, there's still a chance we could see it move down to this 50 MA. From what I'm what I'm looking at here, and you can see here we had a change from uh, green to red giving us a sell. The sell hit its first profit, take profit, second position moved to break even, and that's what happened on the pound yen yesterday. Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar is pretty much what we thought would happen. Um, it's kind of a doji-like formation here on this Aussie dollar. It stopped at the 50 and the 200 EMA. Listen, this 50 and this 200 are essentially their markers. They're, they're markers of where price action really is, and it's telling us that, um, you know, that price is really right at its median. It's, re, it's really right, right at its norm at this particular juncture, and we're just going to have to wait and see where price goes from here. But it is a resistance point, and we can uh, easily see price push back down to the 1.0288 area. But we're, we're not above it. If we were above it, we could s simply say, okay, now we've closed above. It's more a probability that we will have a price movement to the upside. We cannot say that at this juncture. We have a change from green to red, from red to green, but it's just not strong enough for us to continue, consider a buy, and so we have not considered a buy on this Aussie dollar. Euro yen. Now the Euro yen is kind of interesting and I, I know I've had some clients who were up uh, three percent or so and now we're, we're up one percent because of the, uh, one second guys. On the, on the BW. And it's because we were at an area of support here, and we did have price really just bounce off of it perfectly um, there. And it's just one of those things. I mean, you know, we, we had good price movement to the downside in the European session, and we walked into the New York session, and, and really all that price movement retraced, and it takes us to where we are currently. Um, but the, we're up currently 80 pips. We were up previously a couple hundred pips, 206 pips, I believe it was. And uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what price movement does from here. We actually have a change from red to green that may form. And uh, hopefully, if it forms the way that it is here, we will have a buy signal. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Um, you know, if we get shut out, break even, and the market continues to run the way that it has, this, is act this actually bodes well for a, for a potential move to the upside. And that, that trade to the upside would be strong. As you can see here, uh, we do have a trend line that's formed underneath, which gives us a nice area of support at 127.50 on the day. So if it is to continue to the upside, it may bounce down at 127.50 and then continue up. Okay? All right, so our four-hour trades really quickly. So we have a, we had a IBL here, and this IBL essentially got, got us into a buy trade here. 
and thank goodness for that because we, as you go across, you see that we were still in the buy when all this price movement occurred. Now, if we hadn't been in this trade in a buy here, we would have gotten, uh, you know, thrown around by this whiplash in this trade, but we didn't. We were already in a buy. The buy went up, hit its first take profit yesterday, and then came and continued up to the upside and then closed out at break even here. That's where we currently are. Now you can see here we've got a one bar IBO, and so basically to the upside we're looking for a break of 1.3185 for us to take a buy. Essentially we're going to look for, uh, I would say about uh, 40 pips of risk on this trade, okay, 40 pip first take profit at the upside. On the downside, for it would have to fall quite a bit to get down to 130.72, and then from 130.72 we'll be looking for, um, you know, pro probably it's going to be another few bars and it's probably going to be a very similar stop loss or take profit. I cannot tell you right now because it is uh, the, the stop loss is in flux. It's dynamic depending on when uh, where we are in the market. And that's the IBO, IBO Rev. Now the IBO Rev is an interesting one. We had this formation. We did have a sell opportunity here. Okay. Thirty-eight pips of risk. And it went down to 130.53 with 24 pips of profit. So we did actually get stopped out on this actually previous to, well, actually, no, we didn't. Sorry, guys. We never even broke the low. This is what happened here. We actually moved up, okay, broke the high first, which actually uh, invalidated this trade, and then we went down. So that's what happened there. Um, really quickly on the FXF Quattro, this is actually my favorite graph to look at. This is my favorite chart to look at. Um, because it tells me a lot more about the market than most of the other stuff. All right, so here's what we have. We have basically our head and shoulders pattern. It did go down. It retested that area, gave us a reversal candle here, though. Rejection, price moved back up. We still haven't broken the high, so technically, I mean, you could look at it and say that this this head and shoulders pattern is still valid, but, um, you know, when it comes up this high, it, 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 a real reversal, a real head and shoulders pattern will continue down. It will test this the shoulder high and it will drop. And here we don't have that. We have um, a, a push to the upside here. So this head and shoulders pattern, although not broken as of yet, it um, it definitely it loses its strength there. As far as the uh, FX Edge Quattro is concerned, we have a change from green to red. And that change from green to red is valid. Okay. And that, that occurred right into the buy. So that really did get hit um, on that on that uh, on that cell there on the FX Edge Quattro. All right, so that's that. A couple more things. So we have the uh, triple threat three X. The triple threat three X. Here we have uh, we had a buy trade. We hit our first take profit on the buy. Second position moved to break even. We were fortunate there because price did whiplash. It went back and forth and then finally moved up. Um, and then our ATR sniper is currently in the trade, and it, it did. It won. It, it moved up, hit its first take profit very nicely, and the second position is moved to break even, and it's currently in profit there. Okay, and that pretty much sums up um, all of our trades for the most part. Let me take a look at this Aussie dollar quickly. Ooh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Sorry about that. Yeah, the Aussie, the Aussie dollar is giving us a valid buy. It is giving us a valid buy right now. You've got a good point. And it's, look, it doesn't have a lot of risk. It's got about 60 pips of risk, um, so and a 60 pip take profit on that as well. That's about right. All right, guys. So as far as our trades go, we actually hit our first take profit there. Uh, we focus on the euro dollar as far as the tribe is concerned. Here. Um, we're going to be looking for this high to be retested here um, on the on the on the tribe, but we're going to err on the side of of, uh, of the range here just because we've had a range in the past. Now we're going to have to wait for a break above this for us to consider that we are in a buy trend and a continuation of that buy trend um, is what we should ex you know expect. We have not seen that. We haven't seen any tests of support areas. And so because of that, and we're well within still the entire range of this previous month and a half that we've been in, so we've got to consider this that we, if you have to take a choice, make a decision, it would have to be a sell bias on this one, not a buy at this extreme. And so that's where we are. 
And with that, guys, if you're interested in Tribe Forex, go to tribeforex.com, T-R-I-B-E-F-O-R-E-X.com. Uh, we have set and forget it trades. And also, guys, just to let you know, I'm also in, I'm going to implement a uh, signal service. Okay, signal service will basically going to uh, basically be taking these set and forget trades automatically uh, for tribe members. So with that, I am out of here. I'll talk to you soon. All the best.